Oh, Mark here with the Exiles. Hope you're safe and well. So I recently did an Ask Me Anything and people submitted questions. Um, I had a couple of questions come in after I filmed that and so I thought I'd answer one of them now. The question was, why is the dagger section of Fury's works so big? in comparison to the other sections of the of the manuscript okay and this is actually quite a common question we get from new students as well when they come to the exiles nine times out of ten people want to learn how to use a sword and they will do a lot of dagger and quite often naturally they will want to understand why I mean they enjoy it but how that links into sword use and staff use uh, sorry spear use uh, I've just done something about staffs <laughs> for something different uh, and polex use and unarmored combat and so on and so forth so if I was to expand on my normal default answer of that's where the principles are, uh, and normally that's just what I say and I sort of leave it at that, um, it is where all the principles are, okay? Um, but there's other things to consider uh, as well. So the in the period, okay, you weren't commonly carrying around long weapons, okay? You weren't wearing a sword as is often seen in the movies. You weren't, certainly weren't carrying around a poleaxe. Uh, those were weapons of war. They were functional weapons, okay? But everybody carried a knife, okay? Everybody carried a short, stabby thing, as I often say, a short, stabby implement. Often it probably wasn't a rondelle, okay? If you were carrying a rondelle, it was generally something to say to everybody else, I'm trained and I know how to use this. I'm a combat sort of person, so I'm not just gonna carry a knife, I'm actually gonna carry a rondelle. Um, but in either case, okay, Fury's uh, dagger stuff works equally as well with any short stabby implement as it does with rondelle dagger. So we have to think contextually here. Fury is not just teaching you to fight with one specific aspect in mind, okay? He's teaching you how to fight in general, okay? Whether that's for sport and anger, as we're told, whether that's in the barriers for tawny, as we're told, it doesn't matter, okay? As part of your education or whatever, if you're minor or you know, your nobility, you probably have a good grounding in the fighting arts anyway, but you're going to go to Fury for three months, six months, a year, whatever, and he's going to teach you how he wants you to fight using his system. Day to day, in defense, you're going to be much more likely to face someone pulling out a knife or a dagger than you are a sword, okay? So if he's preparing you to fight and defend yourself in that period, inevitably there's gonna be focus on short stabby things, okay? That's part of the reason why the dagger section is so big. Other reasons include, when I say that's where all the principles are, I really do mean that's where all the principles are. If you're good at managing distance with dagger fighting, if you're good at breaking distance, if you're good at making covers, bridging the gap, applying locks, binds, disarms, okay? If you're used to the sequence of how Fury is saying that fight unfolds, okay? So there's four um, requisites of dagger. At distance, I'm all about disarms. A little bit closer, I'm about binding the body. A little bit closer, I'm about breaking the body. Right down into grappling distance. If we're taking that sequence, okay? and we are mastering that sequence and how to apply, employ different plays at different ranges as that fight is unfolding, we are taking those principles and we are easily applying them to sword in one hand, sword in two hands, etc. But because one of the most difficult things about martial arts, especially with something like this, is managing distance. Now, when a lot of people say that, it's a throwaway phrase, right? Managing distance, of course it's important. People run out of talent when they start to figure out what that actually means, okay? Fury's given us that in the dagger section, okay? In terms of managing distance. There are different things to do at different distances and he gives us that. With dagger fighting, because it's got one foot in Abritsari and, and wrestling is just as big a part of dagger fighting as the stabby and cover stuff, um, and it's also got one foot in the actual fact that there's something sharp being thrown around which can be at distance or can break down into grappling and is likely to break down into grappling. Once you've understood that, you've learned how to operate in that environment with the reflexes, with the muscle memory of those reactions, with the trigger points, it's very, very easy to then take those principles and apply them to other parts of the system, okay? So that's another reason why the dagger section is so big. It's also a lot about the grounding for technical aspects too. For example, with things like the middle binds that were shown in the dagger, so we call Ligadura Metzana from the first master, so you're making a cover, you're dropping the arm in around the back of your opponent's arm to get that bind happening for a disarm or a dislocation. We take the principle of that, when it's right to do it, the angles you need to do it, the fact that you've won the center line with your cover, we're taking those principles and we're applying them 
to what we're shown in the sword in one hand, okay? Because we're shown exactly the same middle bind with sword in one hand. So when people look at Fury and they say it's a holistic system, and I'm pretty sure we were the first people to wave that flag years back, we were the first people to be shouting from the rooftops, this is a, an integrated and holistic system. People get that, but it's not limited to just this technique is here and this technique is there and you can do it with this it's much more than that it's not just the technique we're interested in when we say holistic we're also interested in the setup and the failure options and that distance management that i mentioned that is all rooted in the dagger okay so when you train with us you will do just as much dagger and average sorry sword in one hand sword in two hand but the principles are being driven from all of that dagger all of that dagger drilling okay it's also by far and away the hardest discipline to master okay there are so many more variations to what can happen at that mid-range stabby distance okay it can break down to grappling so quickly it can you know, people can change the direction of their attack so quickly. It's so hard to capture an incoming arm and secure it and rotate it and do a disarm from it. It's so hard to manage and master the discipline of dagger fighting that there has to be so much more content in there to enable you to train enough to, to basically get very competent with that discipline, okay? So it's, it's by some margin more risky than fighting with a sword like i'm not talking about damage or anything like that i'm talking about in terms of what can go wrong okay and what can change okay the best knife people around today will get hit a lot more than they would like to admit the best fury dagger people um you know dagger is my favorite part of the manuscript i'm sure that's obvious i've said it before you know you get hit a lot okay you have to learn how to deal with that you have to imagine training in such a way that you could live with it and it's all about doing more damage to them than they do to you getting hit in a dagger fight is inevitable but it doesn't matter how good you are the 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 opportunity for risk something to be unpredictable is in my opinion so much higher than with the other parts of the manuscript so there needs to be more because you need to learn more you need to understand more to master that discipline so that's my expansive answer um that's pretty much it <laughs> um, uh, but that's the reason why the dagger section is so much bigger than the other sections um, and i hope that answers your question so thank you